Uncommon love for me really required a lot of self-examination. For me, a, a passion to help people solve problems or to help wherever I can. Overcoming fear is the number one thing that I've learned this year to, to make me love people, love my wife unconditionally. Giving of myself more. I'm trying to be more like Jesus. Uncommon love for me is always looking out for somebody else as if they were yourself. Uncommon love really was about our understanding that Jesus came from the other side. Um, he came from heaven to extend to us uncommon love. And Jesus didn't just demonstrate love, Jesus is love. And when uncommon love really takes root in us, the love of God, the Bible tells us that the fruit or what is produced by the Holy Spirit taking residence in us is love. So in reality, uncommon love is about us becoming love, no longer looking for it, but it being something that we live and we extend to other people and even people just like Jesus did who are from the other side. You're not ready to face a giant until you're really ready to lay down your life. Certainly David was more concerned about the cause of Christ than he was even his own life. The series that impacted me the most was Facing Our Giants. Such a great learning experience in understanding that we face external giants, internal giants, and sometimes we are our own giants. The reason it impacted me, because I started to realize that whatever's going on in my life it's not because of what everybody else do, it's because of my own personal relationship with God, and I had to let go of my strongholds. Divine friendships. I know uh, Pastor Kevin really hit home um, when he was talking about having a friendship like that, a relationship where you can share everything and that person doesn't judge you, look at you, and, and just accept you for, for who you are and what you are. As long as I hold on and I put my faith and trust in the Lord and not in self and in outcome that I'm hoping for, but in, in Christ, that um, it's going to be worked out just fine. Facing our giant didn't help me because it felt like God was helping me get through my struggles. Facing Our Giants was one of the most popular series that I taught in 2013. I think it resonated so deeply with people because it really helped us to redefine faith. I think most of us have heard that faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God, and we've put ourselves in a place to hear the Word, read the Word, um, to receive the Word, but we never really realized that there's some other elements that must happen in order to develop faith and Facing Our Giants broke those things down. Atari released a video game called Breakout back in 1976 and that game took the video game world by storm. It's the inspiration for our new series Breakout. Overcoming hangups, habits and hurts. Breakout was something that really hit home because I'm a self-described introvert, and I always had a lot of good ideas, but I just never had the, the heart or the gumption to actually go do it. And after the Breakout series, it really pushed me and motivated me to really seek God to see exactly what He wanted me to do and exactly what He wanted me to say. It's changed my life because I learned that I'm not what people had defined me to be, that I am a God says I am, and that I am a child of God, and that I know that I have a calling on my life. In the culture that I grew up in and just my family, um, there were a lot of strongholds and just a lot of things that I had to overcome and just break out of. But I think now I have a, a conscious effort to make sure that I don't let that interfere with the everyday relationships that I have because I know now that um, God really wants us to have fulfilling relationships. Breakout uh, had the most profound impact on my life. You know, I came from a very oppressive, um, boxed-in church environment. I had some things in my life that I wanted to share, that I wanted to be transparent about. And uh, lo and behold, uh, they used it to, to judge me and put me in a box. And uh, you know, it really took some self-reflection to really break out of that mindset and those inner vows that I had. Breakout was a series that helped us to realize that we do have hurts, we do have hangups, we do have habits. And those things are our trying to write prescriptions for ourselves. Um, most of us in, who've been in church for any period of time have heard the term stronghold. We may have even heard the term bitter root judgments. Some of us have heard about inner vows. 
uh, but oftentimes they were presented in such a spiritual and mysterious way, we really didn't understand what those things really were. And at the end of the day, Breakout was about those things are our little inventions, they're our little remedies for how to overcome the challenges we faced in life. Thank you. 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 I was with my grandchildren when the snowstorm was coming, and we happened to say a prayer for travel and mercy because there was a major accident on the turnpike. We were just able to guide right through it. And it's little things that you don't always recognize, that in the hustle and bustle of every day, you sometimes forget how God makes a way for you, and he brought us home safely. I guess it's been really a slap in the face of what I really need to be thankful for and not to complain. There's a lot of things going on day to day that you can just be so busy in your life that you keep, you can forget to give thanks to God. So I appreciate being awake, being alive each minute, and I thank Him daily for that. And thanks really was about the sovereignty of God. So often we only give God thanks when He does something that we think He should have done. When he meets our expectations, then we give this big emotional response of thanks to God and we Facebook about it, we tweet about it, we call up everybody and we make sure everybody knows how God blessed us and normally that's when we give thanks. But thanks really helped us to understand that God's command and God's expectation for us and really his loving instruction is that in everything we give thanks. In order to do that, you've got to see God and yourself in an entirely different way. Giving thanks in everything makes us see that God is in control and he can take the worst ingredients in our lives and cause them to work together for our good. Well, a woman's business launched this year. I'm excited to say officially Mother's Day weekend, we gave birth to what I see as really a revolution to restore the purpose, the power, and the position of women around the world. And one of the key ways that we do that is through service. People that came alongside us to really celebrate what it means in this day and age to be a woman and really tout the importance of our office as woman and really celebrate one of our primary functions and that is to be a mother. Our revolution really exists to redefine for the world in many ways what it really means to look like, feel like, act like, sound like a woman according to God's definition. He is our maker and so we don't only want to really redefine that, we want to celebrate it and make sure that people really understand what God's definition of a woman is. 2014 is going to be a year where God really has a series of encounters with us and we're gonna have a series of conversion experiences and like ripples in the water, every time we experience change, we're gonna bring change to all of those environments that we're in. This is the year that we're really gonna see God on us, working in us and working through us and we're gonna become known as a community that has changed the cities in which we live, Transform 2014.